Um, Rockley is a precast manufacturing company that makes infrastructure concrete products like culverts, pipes, poles, and special products um, depending on what the client needs. In the past, conventional concrete has always been used at Rockler. And now that we've um, started using more integrate molds, um, the call to SEC came about. SEC has largely replaced conventional concrete throughout America and Europe due to the fact that it's much more convenient and has a large amount of advantages with no vibration, cost savings in almost every sector with labor, the concrete is generally lighter as well, so you're always going to get a cost saving with that. What you would get with conventional concrete is you'd get under compaction and you would struggle to actually compact molds and you get um, large defects like honeycombing and large amount of blowholes where with the introduction of SEC that has been reduced drastically actually. We're at Rockler Blackheath today to conduct site trials for self-compacting concrete for the Rockler Group. Uh, what we've done here at Blackheath is we've taken a special blend of approximately 65% coric slag with about 30% of cement and the remainder being silica fume. Rockler is looking at using the self-compacting concrete as compared to conventional vibrator concrete as we have come up with a product that is lighter in mass but improved durability aspects. This particular self-compacting concrete with a high extension of coric slag is therefore more green and eco-friendly as we get to reuse and recycle a waste product. Traditionally, there's resistance to self-compacting concrete as people don't fully understand and how to work with it and what its advantages can be. Uh, it's also a lot of literature on self-compacting concrete that it is a finicky product to work with and your control of moisture is highly critical. What we've been able to achieve in the laboratory is a mix that has a higher variance in water content. Traditionally, and in literature, it speaks about a water content of 1%. In the laboratory, we've come to about a 5% variance that we can control our mix to. Therefore, it's more robust and more apt for South African conditions. From then, we managed to get acceptable concrete strengths and we carried on to do physical trials on site. We started off at Rotopoint initially, and we had a few speed bumps along the way, but as we've, as we've got along, we've learned how to overcome these speed bumps. And with the great success that we had, we started implementing SEC towards our other branches. And so far, so good. self compact concrete is more expensive, but that's only because they don't understand how to use the mix itself. Now, Mary and Roberts, we're using our technology, which has given us an advantage that we can use approximately 450 kilograms of binder and we can still achieve a required 42 MPA in seven days. To obtain the, the flow we require for self-compacting concrete, we've used a super plasticizer which has two polymers in, inside of it. So one is a fast acting for a short period, which gives us our initial flow. And as that one starts to work its way, the second polymer works, kicks in and gives us a longer working period. Approximately 20 minutes to half an hour on site. In terms of Africa, SEC has only really been used where CVC is very hard to implement. With Rockler being able to introduce it into the pre-class environment, opens doors to opportunities that South Africa is waiting to see.